Corneal dystrophies. These are congenital, bilaterally symmetrical lesions that have a gradual progression and are associated with corneal opacities. Anterior dystrophy. The most common anterior dystrophy is epithelial basement membrane dystrophy, also known as Kogan's dystrophy. It's characterized by the shedding of epithelium and appears like dots or fingerprints, therefore also known as fingerprint map dot dystrophy. Treatment. Hypertonic drops, 5% sodium chloride, are given. In few cases, eczema laser phototherapeutic keratectomy can be done too. Race Bucker Dystrophy. It is a ring-shaped dystrophy of Bowman's layer. Meesman's Dystrophy. It is an autosomal dominant, inherited, bilateral disorder, usually seen as early as the first year of life as multiple tiny intraepithelial cysts. Stromal dystrophy. The most common stromal dystrophy is lattice dystrophy. It is caused by transforming growth factor beta-1 gene mutation. It is also associated with the deposition of amyloid and stains with Congo red. On examination, it shows branching refractile lines and glass-like opacities. Granular dystrophy. It is also known as gray new type 1 dystrophy. It's characterized by abnormal hyaline deposits giving a breadcrumb appearance. It stains with mason trichome. Macular dystrophy. It is also known as gray new type 2 dystrophy. It is the least common dystrophy. It is the only autosomal recessive dystrophy. It is characterized by an abnormal deposition of mucopolysaccharide and stains with alkene blue. On examination, it shows grayish-white opacities with clouded stroma. Schneider crystalline dystrophy. This type of dystrophy shows cholesterol crystal deposits. Endothelial dystrophy. The most common type of endothelial dystrophy is Fuchs endothelial dystrophy. It gives a guttata, beaten metal appearance to the endothelium. Edema is seen in stroma giving a blue-gray haze, also known as ground glass appearance. It is associated with bullous keratopathy. It is more commonly seen in females. It presents with painless loss of vision, which is worse in the morning as a person wakes up. Treatment is keratoplasty. Congenital hereditary endothelial dystrophy. It is a posterior polymorphous dystrophy that gives a donut-shaped lesion in the cornea. It's associated with Alport syndrome. Corneal degeneration. Arcus senilis. It is an age-related lipid infiltration of the corneal periphery. Zone of opacity is separated from limbus by space, called lucid interval of Vought. Arcus juvenilis. Same changes as Arcus senilis, but seen in young adults due to diabetes. Band-shaped keratopathy. It is caused by calcium deposits in Bowman's layer and gives a Swiss cheese appearance. Kaiser Fleischer ring. It's caused by a copper deposition in the decimates membrane of the cornea. It is seen in Wilson's disease. Vote white limbal girdle. It's an opacity at Bowman's membrane. Hassel Henley bodies. These are drop like areas of hyaline deposits. These can form guttata over a long course. Keratoconus. Conical cornea. It's a progressive non-inflammatory degeneration of the central cornea. Cornea is thin. An ectasia of the inferior paracentral cornea is seen. Signs in keratoconic cornea are scissoring reflex. It is the earliest sign of our seen on retinoscopy. Oil droplet reflex is seen on distant direct ophthalmoscopy. Votstriae, scratches in the stroma of the cornea, Kaiser Fleischer ring are due to iron deposits. Munson ring. It is an indentation on the lower lid, seen while looking down. Treatment. Glass cylinders, rigid gas, permeable contact lenses, intracorneal ring segment placement, corneal transplant. Treatment of choice is corneal collagen cross-linking with riboflavin eye drops and ultraviolet irradiation. Keratoglobus. 
thinning and hemispherical protrusion of the entire cornea. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.